I'm gonna put them over here. Hang on. Mm -hmm. We don't really need the shovel. It kind of works better to just. There you go. I'll put them right there. Planting our Mother's Day flowers today. Oh. There you go. But gentle, gentle. We got some corn and some roots. There we go. Hey guys, and welcome back to our channel. I'm gonna use my fancy camera, but apparently it's not working tonight, so I guess I'm just gonna have to use my phone after all. Um, I wanted to do a before and after video, because this week is supposed to rain a ton, and so I think our garden is just gonna go poof and grow a ton in, the, in this next week. So I'll do a video today, the 17th, and do one again next weekend when there's change happening, I'm sure. I think it's been two or three weeks since we planted, and things are growing. It's so cool to watch the seeds sprout and I'm pretty sure if seeds could see my face it'd be constantly in their face waiting for them to sprout. Um, it's just been super exciting to watch growth happen even when I didn't think things were really going to sprout and it just reminded me of how much I can't control the growth but God can and he is the creator and is making things grow in his time with just the right amount of rain and sun and He's in control of it all. So it's really cool to watch this garden grow and see him work in it. So let's get started with this little tour. I'll show you what's growing and uh, yeah, what it's looking like. Okay, so here's kind of an overview from this corner. Um, I'm not really sure the best time of day to actually film this, so we'll give it a try. It's getting close to sundown. So we have some zinnias growing down here. They're not blooming yet, but they're getting there. Our peppers are definitely coming a long way. Okay, so I also have to say, um, last weekend we got a pretty cold snap and so we had to put up this line, cover everything, um, cover our corn with straw, you know, just like cover everything, cover everything with containers. So thankfully everything made it through. Um, a friend gave us this pepper plant and it's still doing well. It looks like it's even got some little blossoms on there that are starting to come. So that's really exciting to get those. Um, our cilantro is doing well. We've harvested at least once from it and that's really delicious. I love cilantro. Our eggplant are doing okay. They're getting a little bit by some flea beetles, but I think they'll come around. These peppers are also doing well. That are here, our sweet peppers that we have. And this, we just planted tonight. So much fun. My Mother's Day present was this little flower garden. I didn't used to like flowers in my flower garden or in my vegetable garden. I used to think it's kind of a waste of time, but I've come to appreciate the beauty and the benefit of having flowers to attract pollinators and just give some beauty to the garden. And so I'm really thankful for these and the other flowers that are blooming in my garden. They're just really, really pretty. I like them a lot. My one lone hot pepper that I still have down here. Come on, little guy, you can do it. I randomly have a few that sp few peppers that sprouted inside and I'm not sure what they are. I think they're hot, but they'll come out here eventually as well. We have some flowers growing in here. I don't really know what kind they are, but definitely flowers. Probably some weeds too, but I don't really know. My onions are done. Anna likes taking the little tops here and just weaving them together and <laughs> saying they're best buddies. It's really cute. We have more flowers growing down here. Some, a line of sunflowers along the edge here. Let's see, there's a sunflower right there. There's another one down there. And then some random other flowers mixed in there. Kind of hard to see, but they're in there. So that's that row. We have tomatoes growing in this next row. Um, some of them died, but we replant replanted, so we're getting there. They're looking really beautiful. Um, this is the beginning of a sunflower house over here for Anna. I had to replant some of the seeds as they didn't sprout, but it goes over to there where those white flowers are. So that'll just be a fun little area for her. And then we have a little, um, little flower garden here as well. But this is kind of funny. I don't know what these guys are, but they're probably more like a squash or something. I don't know that they're a flower, but we'll see what they are. The joys of that. Here's our replanted carrot patch. And they're doing really, really well. Look at them. Much thicker than my other batch of carrots that I planted. <laughs> Look at those little guys grow. Good job, guys. My onions are doing well, growing bulbs, I think. It's really fun to see them. Coming from just such a tiny little seed when I planted them. Our lettuce, we've been harvesting a lot, and our mustard. Beets, not yet. I need to clear out the weeds in there. Ooh. Yeah, look at these nice little heads of lettuce. They're getting so big. They're not amazing tasting, a little tough, but 
ate them anyway. Our peas have actually produced a few peas. Anna doesn't really like them, but they were fun. Our mustard is going to seed and has gone to seed and we'll be harvesting seeds from there as well. But our cilantro is doing well over there. And more cilantro is coming. It's probably getting almost too hot for cilantro. I think these are beefsteak tomatoes. And look at them. They already have tomatoes on them. They're looking a little funky, but they're tomatoes. Look at that guy. So exciting. Okay, this is our other carrot patch. So we have some pretty big ones in here. And guess what I found? Little tiny basil. Um, fall into your plants. And up here, double volunteer tomato plants. I found the volunteer tomato plants and basil and other random plants that I found. So cool. Like, I'm sure most people would probably think they're weeds, but I'm leaving them because that's pretty cool that they would just randomly grow. Like, I had nothing to do with them. They probably were left over from last year's harvest and they're just reseeding themselves. So I'm letting them be and we'll enjoy the food we get off of them. Our cucumbers are coming along. They look a little funky, but I think they'll do okay. I need to thin them a little bit and then stake them. Look at this basil guy. Look at him. He's getting so big. Can't wait to have a tomato basil sandwich. And this, guys, is really cool to grow. My peanuts are sprouting. They kind of look like clover coming up, but they are really cool. Pretty excited to grow peanuts. I have never grown them before. Our cantaloupe are finally doing well. I probably replanted these like twice at least. We have them for our big old cattle panel arches that we're doing. I think that's a random tomato. Random tomato flowers. Look at these nasturtiums. Aren't they so beautiful? I did not know the nasturtiums were so beautiful. Oh, we also have this drip system that we're putting in to irrigate with. And so far, it's what we have irrigated is working really well. And I like it a lot because it gives the water directly to the plant. And yeah. It will do much better. We also have wood chips over there, which I'm considering doing the back to Eden gardening method. So I have the wood chips and but I only have them like under here. But I'm impressed so far. Underneath is like moist and that's really cool. So I think if I do that, it will save us a lot of water in the future. So you have more cantaloupes down here. Nasturtium, honeydews. I planted extra seeds because they weren't growing very well and then all of a sudden they grew really well. So I'm thinning them a little bit. This one had like eight honeydews on it and I was like they had kids it's really funny um so we have some watermelon that I had to replant over here they're still trying to grow we'll get there um our strawberries are doing really well look at this guy it's getting so big I'm loving it I don't know if we'll get strawberries off of them this year but at least they're growing and getting established so that's really cool watermelon are growing down here Lots more watermelon, and then this random volunteer squashy thing off the compost. Looks like it might be starting to get some wasps or some buds, maybe. Um, the rest of Hannah's sunflower house. And then we have squashes down here, some buttercup squashes down here. And, you know, another little spot of beauty in there. And we have pumpkins. Lots of hills of pumpkins. Some butternut squash. Lots of butternut squash. Some zucchini. A little nasturtium. More zucchini. Nasturtium. Buttercup squash. These are doing really well and growing so big. Excited to see them go up this fence. That's so cool. And some buttercup. I mean, butternut squash. There. Then we have here a row of potatoes very long. Look at these guys grow. It's amazing. Um, about two-thirds of the ones I planted actually grew. The ones at the end, the very far end, I think, kind of rotted because I think it was just too wet. But we'll see. They may still sprout. But I'm thankful for the hundred plants we have so far. They'll make some nice potatoes. So I've been hilling them also as I go along. Like last year I waited till they were like super tall. This year I've been trying to like just hill them when they're pretty short still so that it's not quite as much work so I'm just taking soil from the middle and putting it on them. Um, so then we have our corn rows. So we covered them with straw to protect them from the frost and I think it did well and they're looking pretty good. 
Um, so we're just leaving the straw in the middle to kind of keep down the weeds, hopefully, in the middle and, you know, keep some moisture in. We're considering doing a soaker hose. We had this random one laying around, so we tried it out last night, and it seems to be doing a good job. So we're going to possibly get a few more for the rest of the rows of corn and maybe the potatoes as well. Okay, down here we have a cantaloupe and a cantaloupe over here as well. In between the corn, I just, I needed a place to put the, them. Um, they were extra and I needed a place. So they'll have room to grow in between there and it'll be what it is. Here's a random tomato plant volunteer and our beans. Lots of beans and beans and beans and beans and some sunflowers there at the end, just for some beauty. Some pole beans over there, I need to hook up my other pole. Yep, and then here's my, sun, my sweet potatoes. I'm really excited to see these grow and I hope, I hope they do well. I mean, I really want them to do well. I just made a huge pile of compost and planted them in there. So, I hope they do well. Finally, it's hot enough to actually plant them. And I am just, Hoping they do well. Okay, so the last thing that I had to plant, I think there's one little pepper and maybe some marigolds that I'm gonna plant. These random two melons that I'm not really sure where they're gonna go. But I might put them here in the potato row because the potatoes aren't growing in the end here, like I said. Like I think I found a rotten one in here somewhere, but they could still sprout. I don't know. But anyway. So that's it for this garden tour. It's so exciting to watch the things grow and just have hope for the future that God is providing for us and all these things will produce and yeah, just cool to see how God provides in this way. Thanks for watching and we hope to see you next week when we do another garden tour video. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss out on it. It'll probably come out like Monday or so if I film it on Sunday. See you next time.